morning, everyone. First and foremost, I would like to warmly welcome our peer team members, Professor Dharmarajan P.K., Chairperson of the NAC peer team, Professor Pravin Kaur, Member Coordinator of the peer team, and Dr. Radhika Nayak, Principal College of Commerce and Economics, Kujira Goa. Thank you so much, sir, for visiting our college. Hope for a fruitful interaction with uh, all of you, sir. As you can see, sir, Tura Government College was established on 9 September 1958 to meet the aspirations of the youth of the region for attaining higher education. The college was born out of the far-sighted and clear vision of the prominent citizens of Karo Hills like Modi K. Marak, Harrison W. Moman, Rangam G. Moman, Ranjit S. Marak, Suresh K. Das, Dolbir Lohar, Ravilal J. C. and Sodini G. Moman under the patronage of late Captain Williamson A. Sangma, the first Chief Minister of Meghalaya for the benefit and future development of its people. Located at the heart of the calm and peaceful town of Tura, the college is imparting quality education for a period of over 60 years. At Tura Government College, the students are guided and motivated to realize their dreams and be transformed into complete and responsible social beings so they can contribute towards the socio-economic upliftment of the region. The college has a campus of 17.785 09 acres of land. The total built up area is 5,097,534 square meters. The college campus consists of seven separate blocks. It has 25 classrooms, 15 laboratories, and two dark rooms. There are six rooms in science department with ICD and LCD facility. Computer lab has LCD projector. The classrooms in the college are large, spacious, well-lighted, airy, and adequately equipped for carrying out the teaching learning process. These are the pioneers of Tura Government College. Vision and mi mission of the college. Vision, promoting value-based quality education with special emphasis on character building and leadership qualities. Incorporating the National Education Policy 2020 in order to update the system of education in the state and the college in particular. Incorporating the state of Meghalaya education policy from time to time. Mission, prepare students through education for productive lives and challenging careers. Encourage and nurture all students on value-based education. Implement ICT facilities for meaningful knowledge transfer. To provide research fa facilities for teachers' competence to upgrade from undergraduate to postgraduate courses in the concerned department. Looking back, the degree arts course was started in 1962, and the degree course science was started in 1992, and commerce in 1995. The UGC rec recognition under 2F and 12B in 1st December 1978. Permanent affiliation was with Nehu was in 1972 when Meghalaya came into existence. Uh, we have the advisory committee with the deputy commissioner of West Karo Hills as the chairman, the vice, uh, vice chairman, the principal, the vice principal as the secretary, and we have two teacher representatives, uh, the executive departments. In the Arts Department, we have Economics, Geography, History, Karo, Education, Political Science, Philosophy, English, Bengali, and Asmis. And in the Science Departments, we have Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, Botany, and Zoology. And we have the Department of Commerce and the Department of Computer Applications. Courses offered by the college, Bachelor of Arts, Honours in Economics, Education, English, Garo, Geography, History, Philosophy, Political Science, Bengali, 
and ASMEs. There is no honors in Bengali and ASMEs, only elective. And in the science, we have undergraduate courses, honors in botany, chemistry, mathematics, physics, and zoology. And we have Bachelor of Commerce honors. Uh, however, uh, computer applications course is not yet uh, uh, has not yet been taken. The faculty strength. We have sanctioned by the government. We have a total of 86 posts, out of which 66 are assistant professors, 13 are associate professors, and at the present we have seven vacancies. And we have 38 posts sanctioned by the management. Yeah, Vacancy. Uh, yes, sir. 13. Uh, we have 13 PhD at the moment, sir. Yes, sir. Among the associate professors, the total number of associate professors is 13. Among them, only two have PhD. Yes. The vacancies in the teaching faculty, philosophy, we have one vacancy, geography one, physics two, Zoology 1, Botany 1, co and Commerce 1. Qualification of the faculties. Uh, we have PhD, two associate professors and ten assistant professors. And just recently one more assistant professor also completed his PhD. So we have a total of 13. MPhil, we have two assistant professors, postgraduate, uh, associate professor 11, assistant professor 54, total of 65. PhD registered. Among the assistant professors, of the Dara, Ten, ten teachers, ten teachers. Net qualified, we have a total of 30 assistant professors. Sir, in your last slide, you said management has sanctioned Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Who are the management? The college management, sir. College management meaning? The principal appoints them sub, uh, subject to the approval of the director of higher and technical education. They are college posts. Okay. And what are their remuneration equal to the sanction? Uh, no, it is not equal, ma'am, because it's a college post. Uh, teaching experience of the permanent teachers, total years of teaching experience is 1044 years, and the average teaching experience per teacher is 13.22 years. Non-teaching staff, we have a total of 53, out of which 37 are male and 16 are female. Now we come to the fee structure for each semester. For BA, honors, the, at the fees, total fees comes to 2020. For BSc, it is 2120. And for commerce also it is 2,120. The uh, unit cost of education, unit cost of education is 36,587, 38, uh, including salary component, it is 36,588, whereas excluding salary component, it comes to 1,914. The unit cost of education including salary component per annum per month per annum it comes to 36,588 and per month it comes to 3,049 the unit cost of education excluding salary component
per annum and per month. Per annum, it comes to 1,915, whereas per month, it comes to 160. Student enrollment in last five years, 2016-17, we had a total of 3,882. 17-18, we had a total of 3,625. 18-19, it was 4,064. 1920 it was 3882 2021 it's 3162 students achievement at a glance so any particular reason for this reduction uh, it about 700 students less students less than the average of uh, madam it uh, depends on the uh, board exams Because, um, Madam, one fact is that we have government college in West Garo, uh, East Garo Hills as well as in South Garo Hills also. But students from there also f come here. The students' achievement at a glance. This is 2017, which includes the annual system as well as the semester system. BA honors, the past percentage was 50%, BSc honors 56.14, BCom honors 38.46, BA pass course 17.43, BSc pass course 57.14, and BCom pass 46.43. 2018 appeared 489, passed 160 percentage. 32.19, 2019, 768 appeared on 81 pass, percentage 23.57, BSc honors appeared 96, passed 77, 80.21 percentage, BCom honors 34 appeared, 32 pass, 94.12, 2020, 749 BA appeared, 646 passed, and the percentage is 86.25. BSc honors, 87 appeared, 84 passed, 96.55 percent. BCom honors, 44 appeared, 44 passed, 100 percent. 2021, 867 appeared, 853 passed, percentage is 98.39. BSc honors 74 appeared, 73 passed, 98.65. Become honors 35 appeared, 35 passed, 100 percent. So students are admitted in each course. The students admitted in each course are appearing in the final examination time. Or there is any drop out? Uh, there are some cases where, uh, because of I don't uh, some reason, they don't appear, but they repeat in the while well, uh, appearing for the other semesters. Some percentage of entrants are not appearing for the. Other we have not experienced it present. What, what is the cause of? Uh, sir, uh, most of our students are from rural areas. Like just recently, when there was heavy rains, many could not come for appearing exams. Economic problem, problem. They have most of the parents are subsistence farmers. Any steps are taken to, to solve that problem by from the part of the college management? We have no facility for that, sir.
Online exam, sir, during the pandemic. These are the students' achievements that continuing total number of awards and recognition received for extension activities from government, government recognized bodies year wise during the last five years. 16, 17, there were three awards. 17, 18, 1, 18, 19, 2, 19, 20, 3, uh, number of students admitted year-wise during last five years. 16, 17, it was 1,659. 17, 18, 1,663. 18, 19, 1,663. 19, 20, 1,579, 20, 21, 770. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have to, being a government college, we cannot refuse admissions to anyone, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Number of sanctioned seats year-wise, it remains constant during the last five years at six, 1,620. This year again, there is a severe drop in enrollment. Madam, uh, these fig figures are after the data validation and verification. We don't know what formula they have. You have yes. No, ma'am. This figure comes after the DVV. You have said that total number of students. Some of our notable alumni, former Lok Sabha speaker, uh, Puno A. Sangma, Lok Sabha speaker, yes sir, he was chief minister also. Sri E. P. Kharvi, IAS retired. Sri Himalaya Muktan Shangpliang, IAS retired, currently MLA of Mausan Ram constituency. Mausan Ram is near Cherapunji. Uh, Sri Pradeep Chakrabarti, currently serving in Tripura. Uh, Sri Uttam K. Sangma, IAS retired. Sri Skylands G. Moman, IPS retired. Sri L. B. Sangma, IPS retired. Sri Felix Dalsang D. Sangma, IPS retired. Sri Rakham E. Sangma, MLA, Siju Rongara, which constituency, which is in the South Garo Hills. Sri Mati F. Sangma is a common name of. Yes, yes, sir. We have Sangma, Marak, Momen. These are very common, sir. FC, Sri Mati F. C. E. Sangma, MLA, Salsala constituency, which is in West Garo Hills. Sri Thomas E. Sangma, former MLA, former member of the Rajya Sabha and currently MLA of North Tura. We are here, here we are in South Tura, so he is MLA of North Tura. This is the message late P.A. Sangma gave during our Golden Jubilee in September 2008. So here it is written that he did his pre-university from this college. The library, software used in the library ELIP library management system. Library cards are issued to students and teachers. The institution has subscription for the following e-resources, e-journals, e-shudkanga, uh, Shud Sindhu, Shudkanga membership, e-books, databases, remote access to e-resources. Library books, we have a total of 52,646. 
journals, 1,973. Book bank, we have 24,680. Endless subscription is also available in the college. For e-governance, we use the district administration as well as the NIC portal for admissions. For examination purposes, we use the OASIS portal of Northeastern Hill University. This is the participative management with all the cells, clubs, committees, and we have the various policies, the laboratory policy of the science departments, the classroom policy, as well as the IT policy. The best practices, book bank facility, and fostering inclusiveness in higher education. We have also students from the Divyangzan SWOP analysis, institutional strength, the teaching faculty comprises of a team of qualified, dedicated, and competent teachers, good teacher-student relationship. The college mostly caters to the rural and economically weaker sections of the society. The college has adequate infrastructure for teaching, learning, and students accommodation. Women's cell by the name of Norombi is in place to address women's grievances. What is the meaning of Norombi? Norombi is a virtuous girl or a virtuous woman. Students can avail scholarship from the state government, UGC, etc. A book bank facility is available for the students. Inclusive education for the differently abled students, Divyangjan, Braille, Lex, Instant Reader, and Braille Embosser Machine for the blind is in place. Institutional weakness, student-teacher ratio is very high, 40 is to 1. Communication language problem of the learners, as most of them hail from the rural areas. Inadequate staff quarters for the faculty. Inadequate number of smart classrooms. Being a government college, the procedural matters related to development and upgradation of the college is very slow. Institutional opportunity. Introduction of professional courses to provide skill development to students. Scope for pro providing well-equipped sports infrastructure. Introduction of management information system for e-governance. Institutional challenges. Some of the students are still first generation learners. The sanctioned seats for the students is less compared to the number of students seeking admissions. Meeting the timeline of national education policy 2020 before 2023. We come to the photo gallery. Here, a sum of one lakh rupees was given to the CEO, Tura Municipality Board on 3rd April 2020 contributed by the teaching and non-teaching staff of Tura Government College towards COVID relief fund. This building as well as the boys and girls hostel was used as quarantine centers during the pandemic. These are some of the COVID warriors who were engaged during the pandemic, teachers as well as office staff. This is the NCC caretaker officer taking part in NCC drill and NCC students taking part in firing practice in the firing range in 2nd Meghalaya Battalion. NCC, NSS students of Tura Government College are performing drill, search and rescue and first aid in collaboration with Disaster Management Authority, Meghalaya. It's a basketball match organized by Norumbi during Women, by Norumbi Women's Cell during International Women's Day. Here are some of the popular talks on human rights organized by the IQAC. One day workshop on teaching methodology organized by the Department of Education. NSS Tura Government College, Tura cleaning a stream just in the town on 7 February 2020. 
different activities carrying out by MSS Chura Government College. These are some of the MSS officers and students holding the award certificates, which was given by the university. Here is an alumni from the Department of Botany Honors. He has established a agro industries where he produces local spices, uh, local dried fruits, etc. That's all. Thank you. I took charge in 2016, sir. It's been six, six years now, sir. Six, six years. Yes, sir. Respected uh, members of the peer, uh, NEC peer team, my name is Isaac W. Muman. I am Associate Professor and HOT of the Department of Chemistry, Tura Government College, Tura. I will be presenting the departmental profile of the uh, pro uh, departmental profile. So the department was established in the year 1971 by offering PU Science and BSc Pass course affiliated to Guwahati University, Assam. And in the year 1972, it was merged with Northeastern Hill University, Shillong, by offering uh, pre-university science and BAC pass course. Finally, in the year 1992, the department was able to start its first BAC chemistry earners program, annual system, under Nihu, Shillong. At present, the department offers BAC earners program, semester system, under Nihu since the year 2015. Our vision is to educate the students in proper manner so that they will have a brighter future, creating interest in chemistry and in environmental related issue, increasing practical skill and subject application in real life situation. And our mission is to motivate students to take up chemistry honors, to impart best theoretical knowledge and practical skill in the subject, encourage students to go for higher studies in chemistry and join chemistry oriented professional line. And this is the former faculty and HOD of the department, uh, Sri Devasis Roy. Uh, he retired as principal TCC Tura. Uh, next to him is late Dr. Kosik Patachaji. Uh, he also retired as principal CTE Rongkhon, CTE's College of Teachers Education. And uh, the third one is Sri Utpal Ranjan Dotto. Uh, he retired as HOD, uh, Chemistry Department. And the last one is Sri Samir Bomik, uh, ret who retired as Principal CTE Rongkhon. Uh, in the department, there are seven sanctioned posts for the teaching faculty, and all these sanctioned uh, posts are filled up. And we have got two laboratory assistants which are filled up. Sanction is by, yes, sir. Mm. By promotion, yes, sir. This is our profile, sir. Uh, after me is Madam Donme, Lisa is Samba. She is also an associate professor. She is uh, services, 26 years of service now. And next to her is uh, Sri Biting Honsi Moman, SM professor, uh, who has now completed 14 years of service. And uh, the next is Dr. Q. Saprang Karnayar. He also has completed 14 years of service. And next is Dr. Pinsak Hyat Miki Gasinga. Uh, he has completed four years of service. And uh, next is C. Biki Trona Esangma, assistant professor, uh, seven, months, uh, seven months of service now. And another one is C. Saljagrin R. Samma, SM professor, seven months. And uh, so these last two teachers, are they registered for K2? They are registered? Uh, I have been encouraging them, madam, to go for PhD because, uh, because now uh, they, for getting promotion to associate professor, they have, uh, they have to finish PhD, which was not the case in our, in our case, it was not there, madam. We are very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. So please make sure that they do their 
Uh, okay, madam, I'll make sure that they go for PhD. This is the uh, faculty involved in the other uh, activities program of the college. I'm a, I'm, should I say? Uh, this is the faculty of work distribution. Okay, sir. Uh, this is the faculty for publication. We are, right now we have got two PhD holders, so their publications is there, sir. This is the student data. 2015, uh, we have got uh, two dropouts in the sixth semester. And 2016, uh, it is, there is no dropout. And 2017, we have got 7.7% .7 in the sixth semester. And 2018, no dropout. Uh, 19 also, 5% five, uh, 5 dropout. So here are the details of the dropout uh, student's name. Uh, this is the result of the student data in 2017, which belongs to 2014 batch, we have got 100% uh, pass percentage. And 2015 batch, to, who passed in 2018, uh, 90.5. And 2019, year of passing, we have got 100% pass. And 2020, 92.3. And 2020, uh, 2000, uh, 2021, we have got 100%. These are the names of the two students who got uh, to, uh, top 10 in NIHU result. 2019, uh, which belonged to the two, uh, 2016 batch, uh, his name is Chaisun Kesmara, and the other one is 2021, year of passing, to, uh, belonging to 2018 batch, 80.5%. Uh, and one of our student is now pursuing PhD under Mizoram University. Uh, he belonged to 2015 batch and his name is Nikran K. Mara. And this is the student progression report, sir. Uh, 2014, many of them have gone for higher studies. 2015 also. These are the IDs of the students. And 2016 also. Uh, 2017 and their ID uh, ID cards 2018 and the alumni placement of the department I am also one of the al alumni of this college sir and after me Madam Donme who is also an associate professor in this department she is also an alumni of this college and Beating uh, Ji Moman, he is also an alumnus of this college. And next is John Sandeep D. Sangma, Nirmal Sarkar, Dipankar Mohanta, and Nabakrishna Hajong. And our departmental infrastructure facilities is the uh, departmental library. We have got our own departmental library with 43 reference books made available to our students only and teaching uh, faculty. Other than the, our normal uh, library, we have got our own departmental library. Uh, we have got one ICT facility, laboratories, we have got two laboratories with one additional. Uh, one additional, uh, it is for emergency. Uh, chemical reagents, equipments and apparatus are always sufficient. Stocks in reserves are always kept for the experiment. Computer facilities are available for teaching faculty and six semester students who are really in need of the need for semin seminar presentation in the department. Uh, program outcome. Uh, after graduating in BSc, students should have a strong common knowledge in both theory and practical related to the subjects of physics, chemistry, mathematics, botany and zoology, which is offered in the college by the following combination. Number one combination is physics, chemistry and mathematics. Number two combination is chemistry, botany and zoology. And the next point is the skill of observation, analysis of a given scientific data, and draw logical conclusions. Uh, third one is known to build positive attitude towards sustainable development. Number uh, fourth is imbibe ethical, moral, and social values in personal and social life. And the last one is develop various communication skills such as reading, listening, speaking, etc., which will be necessary in expressing ideas and views clearly and effectively. Uh, this is the program specific outcome 
of the chemistry uh, department. We have just given PS01. Yes, yes. This is the measurement of attainment for PSO. Shall I skip, sir? Can you do anything about this last one? Pardon, sir? This last diagram. Level 4. Level 4? Level 3 and 4. Do you have any system, documents there? Which one? Any level 3 and 4 courses or anything? Yes, we did. Yeah, we are doing extra, we take extra classes and doing mentoring also. This is the course outcome. Uh, here in the department, there are only three branches of chemistry we are teaching, inorganic, organic, and physical chemistry. And the syllabus is from Nehu, sir. Well, this is the course structure. This is inorganic chemistry, uh, organic chemistry, physical chemistry. And this is a measurement of attainment for CO. Seminar in the six in the final uh, this uh, six semester students they have to present a seminar which is a part and parcel of the syllabus. So its aim is to inculcate the sense of confidence in terms of public speaking knowledge of the subject to draw conclusion whether the students have acquired in depth knowledge of the topic presented, improving communication skills, gaining expert and knowledge in the subject. Uh, this is the seminar. A photo of the seminar taken in 2019, where our uh, principal, Sir T. D. Marak, is giving uh, an advising uh, advisory comments to the students. There's a survey of curriculum. Uh, we organized a uh, seminar in 2016, uh, organized by both the departments of physics and chemistry, a renowned scientist from Kalpakam, Tamil Nadu. His name is Dr. S. Ningshen, who is working in Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research. He came for one day workshop seminar, inter interact for one day interactive session. Our best practices is mentor mentoring. And these are the sum of the uh, issues the students raise. And uh, below we have given the, uh, what we have resolved. And this is their signatures that we have taken. And we organized an exposure trip as well as education trip in 2017. Uh, there were two. Uh, there, were, uh, there was one trip from 28 to 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 to 28 May to Delhi and Manalni, where one of our faculty, uh, Sri Biji Momon, uh, this is the photo. Analysis of soap, uh, future plans. Uh, we are going to increase our ICT. Uh, we are going to install ICT in all the classrooms in the coming years and application of the laboratory. And the third one is to motivate students to go for further higher studies and find employment in related trade. Excuse me, most of your teachers are not interested to take degree and contribute to the higher education system. Most of your teachers are not interested to take degree and contribute to the higher education system. Then how can you motivate the students? <laughs> now, I, I think, sir, it, it is the need of the hours. That's why I'm telling them to go. And I, I've been telling even my junior colleagues also to go for PhD. I'm encouraging them, sir. Because my time, <laughs> I've got a few years only to retire, sir. So. Without the research papers and the PhD, how can you become a selection grade? It is like that, sir. After being placed in the selection grade prior to 2016, if you, have, if you uh, uh, continue in service, after three years, you get associate. It is still in the UG UGC. Yes, we uh, This is the extracurricular and accessing activity delivered by the department during the pandemic uh, time in 2020. One of our teacher. Uh, from the department is distributing mass distribution and giving aid also. Uh, this is uh, uh, giving an awareness program on the Kuwait. 
common university entrance test. So he was giving a lecture in North Karu Hills. This is West Karu Hills, sir, uh, sir, ma sir and madam. So he was giving a uh, lecture on Kuwait on uh, in North Karu Hills. This is the inception of the Department towards Outcome-Based Education as per NEP 2020. So our aim is to improve knowledge along with skill, assuring employability to young graduates of any discipline. The department initiates uh, initiatives to transform its curriculum towards OB. The curriculum in chemistry is such that the students who have learned it can set up their own enterprises like shop making, hand sanitizer, manufacturing, fermentative production of vinegar, alcohol, which includes ethanol, wine, beer, etc., where this enterprise may be small or in large scale. And the second point is efforts made by the department to capture OBE in teaching learning. The department in near future and its future plans has decided that topics as for example alcohols, glycerol, fats, oil, soaps, etc., which are part of the syllabus to be taught with proper experiment and demonstration where experimental facilities are available in the department laboratories as these topics are OBE based. And this is one of the faculty preparing the hand sanitizing for the office staff. And uh, we have got some of the students who are now got selected for the, uh, for the post of technical assist assistant under state food testing laboratory. Their names are Jekno Meriti Sangma, uh, Brini Tinda A. Sangma, Taryang D. Sira, Agontina N. Marak, and Silkame D. Sira. Respected members of the NAC peer team, I once again welcome you to Meghalaya and this part of Meghalaya, that is Garo Hills region, and also welcome to our college, Tura Government College. Myself, Tezan A. Momen, I am the, at the moment the IQAC coordinator for this college, and as well as the HOD of physics department. So on behalf of physics department, I would now proceed with the presentation for the Department of Physics. So as you can see, uh, the department came into existence uh, in the year 1971, and we have permanent affiliation with the affiliating university, that is Northeastern Central University, Northeastern Hill University, which is a central university from the year 1995. Currently, the physics department offers undergraduate uh, degree courses under the semester system. The semester system was implemented by the university in the year 2015. So before that, we had the annual system of examination or the annual system. So we will now see the vision of mission of the department. So besides the vision and mission of the college, uh, we also have decided to have the vision and mission in the department as we thought it is a requirement for the department. So in the vision we have, uh, it is related with the subject physics, ignite interest for higher studies and research in the field of physics, uh, provide conducive and dynamic space for learning physics, produce number of graduates with physics honors from this region. So our attempt is always to uh, ignite the students to go for higher studies and take up physics. And in the mission, uh, in our mission, we have, uh, we have motivate students to take up physics honors, uh, create passion and commitment in studies, dissipate fear psychosis for physics and mathematics, uh, encourage students to opt for higher studies in the subject. So these are some of the formal faculty, so I will not go into detail, they have already retired. They're not in with us. So in the Department of Physics, uh, we have a sanctioned strength of seven posts. And at the moment, we are having five posts which are filled. We have two lab assistants, which assist us in the laboratory. And one is vacant at the moment. So we have only one uh, laboratory assistant in the department. So these are the uh, photo of the faculty in the physics department. These are the students in the department. We are having students at the moment, uh, second semester students, fourth semester students, 
and six semester students. And recently, uh, they have completed the six semester, they have completed their theory examinations. So they are almost on the verge of going out from the college. And at the same time, uh, since the qualifying examination has been declared, we have already admitted the students in the first semester, but uh, we have not started the classes, so which will start according to the academic calendar that is given by the university, which starts uh, in August. So this is the teacher's profile. Uh, first, myself, I have put in uh, 25, 24 years of service in the college. Then in the second place, we have Sir Ruiter Baljak M. Sangma. He's put in 13 years of service. We have a lady teacher in the third place. There is Madam Cheerfulness Lingdo. He has put in 11 years of service. Then we have Jojrang Garnet Disira. He has put in nine years of service. And Sri Benjamin Meliam, the youngest one, who has put in two years. So in the department, uh, we have three teachers who are net sled qualified. But unfortunately, we are yet to have uh, uh, teachers with PhD degree. We used to have uh, teachers with PhD degree, but since uh, our post is transferable, and we have another government college offering uh, BSc degree, so when they get transferred. So that way, uh, sometimes we get, sometimes we don't get. So this is the teacher's profile. Uh, participation in the institutional responsibility as well as in the extension activities. As for me, uh, I have been involved in many of the committees and many of the extra co-curricular activities in the college right from the time I have joined. I have been a member of the examination committee till 2015 and I also got the opportunity to work for NSS as a program officer. Okay, sir, we will skip. These are the different things. So the, we'll now look, have a look at the faculty workload. So uh, we are following the UGC guidelines. And as per our academic calendar, we have 220, two, 220 working days. So the number of classes per week, uh, when we calculated, uh, we are getting on an average 22 uh, uh, among all the teachers. And when it is calculated, uh, it comes to 220 working days for the academic year. So total number of working hours per academic year comes to, an, on an average, 1,000 per teacher. This is the departmental routine. So I'll just skip. OK, sir. This is the workload, once again, in, presented in graphical presentation. This is one of the uh, sample of the curriculum feedback which we have conducted on the students. Uh, we find that uh, it is quite satisfactory, thoroughly. Uh, the, we will find that uh, in respect to the discussion or class on basic circuit analysis, the feedback was taken and it was found that uh, it was explained thoroughly by the teachers. The feedback is collected but not analyzed. Sir, we have the... Only collecting is... Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And for what? Yes. There is actually, we need to analyze, sir. Analyze and then we have to take the action based on the analysis. You have not done the analysis process. Okay, sir. So this is, uh, this is the analysis, sir. We, we find that uh, the overall, uh, we have excellent 48%, very good 40%, and good around 8%. Uh, this is the student data, the enrollment in the first semester, second semester, third semester, fourth semester, fifth semester, and the sixth semester. So uh, the, we, we can see the color code that is given, the progression. So ultimately, uh, we find that uh, in the sixth semester, dropout comes out to zero. Uh, there is uh, quite a large number of dropout in the first semester. But basically, the reason being uh, most of the students uh, on getting better opportunities for Technical studies, they go for the technical studies like MBBS and engineering. So mostly, most of the students in this region, part of the region, uh, they go for these courses after giving NEET and JEE. So this is a student data, and this is the examination results. Uh, actually, we have given from 2014. Uh, there has been slight uh, decrease in the results, sometime in between, but uh, now the result has improved once again. And in the year 2020 and 2021, 
uh, we have 64% and 90% of the students. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have, that result was very bad that year. And we have only five number of students appearing in the final examination. And only one has cleared in the examination. Students' progression. Uh, we find that uh, most of the students, uh, they go for higher studies. Uh, most of the students are continuing with uh, postgraduate course in physics, except for a few students who go for other subjects. But most of the students, we find that uh, the students go for higher studies in the physics itself after they complete BSc in physics. So for example, like uh, here, we have Anamala University. Uh, most of them are central universities, like Mizoram University is also a central university. And the affiliating university of our college is Northeastern Hill University. Uh, so most of the students uh, prefer to get admitted in Northeastern Hill University. But uh, recently, uh, we have found that uh, they are also going for other universities uh, in Assam, which is near Meghalaya. So this is continuation of the students' progression. Uh, most of them are doing MSc in Physics. These are some of the successful alumni from our department. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Samrat Day. Uh, he uh, has obtained first class first ranked in BSc final examination from our department. Uh, and currently he is working as HOD Physics in the Assam Don Bosco University, which is a private university in Assam. Then we have Dr. Yubrat Sarma. Uh, then uh, we have Jitren, Jitendra Prasad, who was a seven rank holder in BSc in final examination from our department. And we also have in the year 2016, eight rank holder in BSc final examination. Although the number of students are less in our department, uh, we find that uh, uh, rank holders come out from the Department of Physics. Mentor and Mentina, uh, ment we have the students which are divided into a number of groups in all the semesters and to these students, teachers are assigned as mentors. Uh, we discuss the problems and the, and the issues are uh, identified to be solved by the teachers. Extra care is given to the students who are slow learners. So in the case of slow learners, um, we identify them on the basis of the entry level so uh, also on the basis of the marks obtained in the internal assessment, we have a system of uh, continuous internal assessment uh, as per the guidelines given by the affiliating university and we follow that uh, in, uh, continuous internal evaluation. So for the slow learners, uh, we try to have the tutorials and the remedial classes. And sometimes uh, uh, special attention is also given to them individually. Mentoring, uh, in the mentoring, these are some of the issues raised by the students. These are the issues raised. Students six explanation regarding the jobs, opportunities, and higher studies after the graduation in BSc Physics. So we also have the issues resolved. Uh, jobs and opportunities of the BSc Physics are explained to them. We also encourage them to attempt the various entrance examinations like exam, uh, university entrance examination, which may be required for different universities. And now, uh, with the coming of CUET, uh, from this year, our affiliating university has made CUET also mandatory for the postgraduate course. Although for the undergraduate course, uh, state of Meghalaya has been exempted. Uh, number two, students ask to demonstrate various numerical problems related to topics uh, for example, like topics on Lagrangian and Hamiltonian, that is there in the syllabus. So we try to solve them and explain to them. And uh, when we give special attention, we find that students are satisfied and they could understand the topic. Number three, uh, some slow learners, students, again request some topics to be explained, such as, for example, uh, we have some topics uh, which may be difficult uh, like Maxwell's thermodynamic relations, quantum statistic, statistics, which they could not grasp during the regular class. So again, uh, as I have already mentioned, uh, we uh, have the tutorials and the remedial classes, and we try to 
make them satisfy and make them understand the concepts. This is uh, the sample of the mentoring that we have done the students. So here, as you can see, uh, mentoring was done by two of the teachers. Uh, we have put the signatures and we have also obtained a signature of the students so that uh, we have a record of the mentoring that we do in the department. These are the program specific outcomes in the undergraduate physics honors. So uh, PSO1, uh, it is classified according to the syllabus, PSO1, PSO2, PSO3, PSO4, PSO5, PSO6, okay sir. Then uh, we have some best practices in our department. Uh, uh, we will find that uh, mentor mentee is always the best practice. Okay, okay sir. So based on the new education policy, uh, we are we have come out with certain points we, which we feel is necessary for outcome-based education. We find that in the new education policy, new education policy will lay stress on the outcome, not much on the output. Although uh, uh, the um, structure at the moment of the policy of education is outcome-based outcome to produce the number of graduates, but I believe with the coming of NEP now, uh, the outcome, we will take into consideration the outcome. So with this in mind, uh, we have decided to take such some initiatives in the department. For example, they will be able to express in writing and orally about physics effectively back based on curriculum. It, it should not be a rote learning system anymore, uh, just by memorizing and giving out in the examinations. They should be able to explain the concepts and support in other uh, even not just for the examinations. They can demonstrate the fundamental laws of physics. They can explain uh, real world problems. For example, a uh, topic on gravity, why water flows from top to bottom. They know the concept. Why some feel the distance while, tra uh, di uh, while traveling in a car but not in an airplane uh, to explain the concept of frame of reference. Why we fall backwards when a car stops uh, to explain the concept of inertia. So, uh, with this reference, uh, I believe they will have more understanding and knowledge about physics. And also inculcate in them the desire to explore more about physics related problems based on the laws, formulas, theorems, hypotheses, and maybe uh, ignite them the interest in the students to maybe discover something new. Then, uh, these are some of the efforts made by the department to capture outcome-based education in teaching learning process. They will have uh, computational skills like Fortran programming, which is a very important ICT, ICT tool. Uh, they have analytical and mathematical skills because they are equipped with mathematical formulas, theorems, laws, etc. They will also be equipped with problem-solving skills uh, with, with, with which they can solve the numerical problems related to the real world using physics formula as well as programming. Then these are some of the good practices that we intend to have under the new education policies. Assignments are given to the students to develop scientific writing skills and understanding the subject. Uh, internal tests are conducted regularly to know their analytical and mathematical skills. Uh, seminar is conducted to mold them to have disciplinary knowledge, communication skills and research related skills. Mentoring of the students uh, demonstration of practical experiments, as well as we have decided as much as possible uh, with uh, uh, finance, if it is granted, we will go for exposure visit to the IITs, BARC, Indian Institute of uh, Science and Communication, Sci IASC, IUCA, uh, Physic Physical uh, Research Laboratory, PRL, ISRO, HAL, etc. Uh, now, this, we come to the seminar that we have organized, as it already been mentioned by the Department of Chemistry. Jointly, we had that seminar with a scientist from Kalpakam, uh, and we had in 2016. So these are some of the photos of that seminar program and interaction with the students. Then also, uh, we had a special lecture come interaction session by one of our own student, who is now the HOD Department of Physics, that is Dr. Samrat Day. He has delivered a lecture on four strands of physics uh, in 2018. As well as uh, uh, 
these alumni from the physics department and from Tura Government College uh, was fortunate enough to give a lecture for, the, for their teachers as well. That was on quality in research journals and articles in the, in the same day in 2018. So these are some of the pictures of the program. These are some of the exposure visits we had. We also had an opportunity to go to the neighboring country, that is Bhutan, in the year 2018. So these are some of the photos of the trip to Delhi, Manali, and Bhutan. Now we come to SWOG analysis. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, done the analysis, and these are the different points that we have come up in the SWOG analysis. We find that department consists of a team of qualified, sincere, experienced, as well as dedicated teachers. Conducive student-teacher relationship. Uh, in the department, although the ratio is very high for the college as a whole, 40 is to 1, but uh, for the Department of Physics, student-teacher ratio is 13 is to 1. Uh, we are quite uh, regular, we can say, and it is actually strictly monitored. Sir, your is 20, no? uh, is Teachers? Yes, th basically 30, sir. 30 is a sanction seat, uh, so sometimes uh, students, they go out because of that reason that I have mentioned. So it comes to 20. No, so we have calculated uh, all the different semesters. Yes, and it gets reduced. Yes, yes, sir, yes. Yes. Yes, at the moment, yes. Okay, so weaknesses. Uh, is, uh, we have insufficient classrooms and laboratory space. Uh, students mostly come from, uh, mostly come from rural areas will, with poor scientific temperament, uh, lack of infrastructure for research. Uh, this is, uh, we were thinking uh, if for the teachers. Yes, students basically... Uh, um, Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. I think, sir, if we can have this infrastructure, uh, it, it will inspire the students, maybe. So, one thing can be done, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can have a project. Yes, sir, definitely, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. You will keep that in mind, sir. Uh, no, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Opportunities, expansion and upgradation of existing laboratories, classrooms, uh, as we have mentioned, setting up research facilities, upgradation to PG courses. I think these PG courses are badly needed in this part of the state. Uh, we have an university which is quite far away, so sometimes the students, uh, they find it difficult to go to a far off place and financially maybe also they find it difficult sometimes. So if we have the PG courses, uh, they can do it here itself. Uh, then training workshops for teachers and students. In the challenges, we have understanding and catering to individual needs of the students. Uh, transaction of syllabus is more time consuming as the students lack basic ideas in the subject. We have to give more time to them to cope up uh, with the lack of knowledge non-availability of maintenance of equipments, students with higher grades prefer professional courses. So this is one of the challenges. Uh, we are basically most of the time getting students with uh, uh, low grades. So that is a big challenge for us. Future plans, uh, we already have one ICT enabled classroom where we have a projector, uh, but uh, we intend to have more ICT enabled classrooms. Uh, we seek to increase the laboratories, dark rooms. We are currently having two dark rooms. Uh, we are having three laboratory, but uh, specialized laboratory like uh, electronics laboratory uh, we want to have. We previously had in the old building, but in the new building, again, because of the uh, uh, lack of space, we could not have. So we intend to have more uh, laboratory in the future. Like as Sir has already mentioned by the HOD of chemistry, motivate teachers to go for research. And as sir, you have mentioned just now, apply for research projects and facilities in the college. So that is our future plan. So these are some photos of the department. I believe you will visit us tomorrow.
Uh, so, so this is one of our teacher who is an NSS program officer. Uh, at the, he's holding the a NSS award that is best NSS unit that was awarded to our college in the year 2018. Mm -hmm. And he was one of the program officer. So sir, we come to the end of the slide. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. This is a quote by Albert Einstein, one of the famous scientists. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. So uh, now, uh, with this, we have come to the presentation by physics department. As the IQAC coordinator, now we will go ahead with geology department.